What are your bare necessities of life? Is it food, clothes, football, beer, love? Saw some sniggering. Well, it's also true for cells, and we've got millions of them. And in order to function properly, there are certain machineries that allow us to do this. And any malfunctioning can lead to things like cancers, nutrient imbalance, diseases like Alzheimer's and uh, diabetes. And studying inside cells is not only fascinating science, but also it's really important so that we know how we work and um, hopefully leading to ways into preventing malfunctions in the first place. So the GTGs are a newly discovered set of essential proteins that are found in all animals, plants and fungi. So not only found in um, single cell organisms like yeast, which we use to make our beer, but also found in complex multi multicellular organisms like bears. They're also found in us, but I thought a picture of a bear was a lot better than putting up a selfie. Um, so before I started my PhD, I wasn't sure whether there was a connection between the GTGs from all the different organisms and perhaps whether there was a fundamentally important role for these. Um, and I really have gone some way into trying to solve this problem. And through a lot and lots of experiments and a lot of joy, success and some tears, as some of you may know, um, I have actually found that there is a unifying role which connects all these proteins. But before I hit you with my results, first a bit of background. The Golgi is a major sorting centre inside our cells, like the post office, but for crucial building blocks like proteins and carbohydrates, which are needed for growth and development. The animal GTGs ensure that these production factories work properly. But is this the same for all the other organisms? And um, how did I do this? So what I did is I made these um, mutant plants, worms, and yeast um, where the GTGs weren't working properly. And in doing so, I found that it resulted in cellular faults which manifested into um, uh, growth, development, and fertility uh, problems. So in, root, in um, plants, we saw that the roots and the shoots grew a lot shorter than normal. And um, in worms... Uh, not very many progeny were produced, and none of these progeny grew into adults. And in yeast, they grew a lot slower too. So we can see that removing these proteins is really detrimental to life. But do they do the same role inside the cells? So what I did was really cool science. I put the worm GTG inside the plant mutant, and this restored normal cellular growth, as sh um, shown by normal root and shoot growth. So all in all, the take-home message is, is that the GTGs are a bare necessity to cells and therefore life. <laughs>